Ladies and gentlemen, Science Strafe back with some more World of Tanks. And today I'm starting things out with the Centurion once again. Why not, you know? I've been working on this tank for a little bit, trying to get to the 7 slash 1. Eventually. I've still got a ways to go. I might just use some gold to unlock XP, but uh, money is actually more of the issue. I'm going to creep through the village here. I don't usually go this way on this map, but I thought I would try something different. Go ahead and push on through here. Ruin all the furniture. And where are these guys at? Got some things in my... I wonder if I can hit this. Let's see. Oh, it just went right underneath. I'm going to try that again. Let's see what happens. Come on. Oh. Alright. Well, now he's into sight. So... There we go. It's all about trying to get to that lower glacius. Uh, although the T-34 is going to be an easier target. There is no artillery in this game, which is fantastic. That's a bounce. I don't think his gun is looking at me. He's focused on the T-29. Alright, who's going who's gonna to side. Can't really see what I'm shooting at there. T-34 track. Oh, there's a Conqueror? Actually, that we might want to try to work on as well. See if we can shut him up a little bit. Remember, this thing's got a great turret, so we might be able to play with this one here a little bit. Or not. Gotta watch out for the ammo racking issues on this tank, too, so... No oh, dice, he's backing out. He doesn't want to deal with me in a hull down position too much. Alright, what do we got over here? I can't see who to hit. Alright, you come out a little bit more. That's a ding. Having a tough time getting to that, that lower glacius. Oh wow, right on the seam. That that shouldn't have even worked. But it did. And oh crap. Panther 2 on my flank. Wasn't paying attention. That's my fault. Oh, hey. He's got some friends with him. Well, just mine is damage. Mine is well damage whatever I can at the moment. I'm going to get flanked. Here's the Conqueror. He's going to come up. Back his buddies up. Yes, set on fire like a typical German tank. Oh, that's bad. All right. Let's get the out of here. Oh, crap. Reverse. Full reverse. Anybody? No, there's nobody here to save me. Darn it. <laughs> Try to buy time, maybe. They're coming. Once both of them are here, we're screwed. There's not really a good route on this one. There's the Conqueror. A little bit of trackage there. Panther 2. Don't zoom on by. Oh! My bad. Messed that one up. Crap, another one's coming. No. <laughs> oh, well. I did what I could. Perhaps I should have uh, continued to focus on uh, the targets on the beach instead of going back for that conqueror. Because I think I just made him angry. So that didn't work out, and here's one of the rare pre-order tanks, uh, when World of Tanks first came out. I think there was three bundles you could purchase if you decided to pick up, uh, I think, like a $99 package, you would get this tank. So very rare. Uh, not many people have these things. And most that probably do have them aren't playing as much anymore, because you just still really don't see them. It's obviously... Uh, quite a large target. It's got the M6 or T1 hull with a different turret on it, but uh, I wouldn't mind having one just for collectability's sake. Let's go ahead and see what he'll do, perhaps. And, hey, hey wait, yep, yep. Watch that turret. You're going to pick a target? What's he going for? 
Maybe he's thinking, ah, oh, let's see, what's the easiest thing I can hit, I suppose. Take somebody with him. I think it has an okay gun. I'm not I'm not sure. I think it's a 90 mil. I don't know. Actually, what this thing has on it. I'm going to assume it's some sort of 90 millimeter gun. What's he doing with his turret? What What is he doing? Did he lag out or something? Cuz he just blew an opportunity there. He could take that KV. Actually, he could pen any of these tanks. I just need to go ahead and pick one. Alright, there you go. Back up. I'm waiting to see if he gets flanked. T-29 can stay in a hold down position now because that turret's going to be tough to pen. Unless he can get some sort of rare cupola shot. They're waiting for him to fire. Oh, wow, he gets them. Was that cupola? Couldn't tell from here. Or, I'm not sure if I'm seeing this, but I think I see a penetration in his gun mantle, which is very rare. Let's take a look. Yeah, look at that. He actually... Whoa! <laughs> Kills him with a ram there. He actually managed to go through the mantle on a T-29, which... That doesn't happen often. What kind of gun is this? I might have to research it later. Puts up a great fight, though. Even though we had those turret errors. Canarvon. Going in for some trouble here. It looks like it's all over. Yeah, good fight though. Well done. Did a lot better than I did. Okay, so there's that. Definitely not a fantastic game, but whatever. At least I didn't go negative in credits, which is what typically happens in a battle like that. So, I think it is M103 time. I know I've been focusing on these tanks a lot, but, you know, again, there's not really any rhyme or reason to how I make a World of Tanks video. Uh, you know, there are times where I will focus on a specific tank, and holy arty party Batman, not so happy about this. I hate seeing this. Four pieces of artillery, big artillery. Ugh. All right, time to go camp in the city. When you're in something this large, you do not go out in the open, if you can help it. So I'm going to hide in the city and take my time. Patience is a virtue when you're dealing with this. I really wish they would do something about the matchmaking when it comes to how many artillery are allowed in a game. Four is a bit rough sometimes, especially depending on the maps. Uh, you can see that they've got two pieces of artillery on that side that are in a... Uh, in a platoon. None of ours are, but... Alright, so I'm going to see... We've got some guys moving forward pretty quickly. And I'm actually not going to roll up this side, because every time I do, I get shot by something invisible. I'm going to go through the center line. Uh, that way, maintain cover, so I don't have to deal with artillery too much, at least. They'll probably still find me. We do have a uh, sixth sense on this bad boy, so we'll know at least when we're spotted. I had somebody right in front. Oh, T-62A, which way, are you going to go past the T-110? Stay close to these friendlies, but don't go too much, uh, too far forward. All right, let's bring it up a little bit. Now we're spotted. All right, so they're trying to flank this guy. Little worried. Oh, yes, yeah, somebody's attacking the artillery. Good job, medium tank. Buy us some time. Boom! Fall back. Wait for that reload to kick in, and... They have a piece of artillery that's playing tank destroyer. And there's a scout at the K-1 
line, unfortunately. This has gotten interesting. Okay, we've got some units going to intercept the scout back there. If I fall back, it could be pretty bad. Oh, come on, GW. I'm going to try to cover this guy's six, so if they try to flank him... Oh, they keep pulling back just in time. Dang it! All I did was track that guy. I aim too low. Reload. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get some. Oh, man. We are surrounded. Oh, the GW's looking right at me. There's a T-110 that's going to come in and take him out for me. Thank you. He was waiting for me, but instead that guy just said, knock, knock. How's it going? Darn it. I just got slammed pretty bad there. What? That guy reloaded pretty fast. All right. Not doing so well. But the team is, so... Not really going to complain too much. He's not looking at me now, and... That goes right in. 448. What's he looking at? Something behind him. Fuel tank is hit. We've got to be careful. We don't want to catch a fire here. Oh, come on. I'm not even sure what I was aiming at. Alright, time to push in a little faster here, and out. Careful. Alright, that was a cheap kill there, but whatever. Not a fantastic game, but uh, a win is a win. And I will take it. It could have been worse, though. We were surrounded for a good majority of that game. Or not necessarily surrounded, but outnumbered in the city area. But uh, thankfully, we had a competent team that was able to take care of most everything. Artillery went down pretty fast. A lot of uh, T-110s. Wow. I didn't realize. I think that's the most I've ever seen in a game. Check the other team. Our team had a bunch of them. Three in a squad or a platoon. Oh no, that was a 110 E4 with two E5s. And then there's a same thing. Strange. Oh, okay, but that guy wasn't interesting. I'd like to get one eventually. Uh, the E5. Yeah, the E5, but I'm still not near it. It'll eventually be my first tier 10. Which, if I played the game a lot more, I could have one. It's just that I, I don't play as much as most people. Um, you know, because I, I switch between so many different titles. It's not uh, something I spend a whole lot of time on. So what else is going on here? Let's let's do a game in the Cromwell. I haven't done one in these uh, this bad boy for some time. I believe this is actually Tank of the Month, according to Wargaming's site. And I'd like to find a battle. Usually it doesn't take this long. Strange. Very strange. We got what? 22,000 plus people on. It's just a Cromwell. What is going on? So, vehicles by tier heavy tanks 46, mediums 111. Light tanks. Okay. Odd. Try one more time. See if it's some sort of glitch. Okay, there we go. Not sure. Being a little finicky today. Higher tier today in the Cromwell, so I can't play as crazy as I would normally like. Means I should try to actually kill something properly, I suppose. As I've said in previous videos, this tank was definitely a keeper. A lot of people don't like it because of the number one reason most people don't like tanks in this game. Because it doesn't have enough armor and can't take any hits. Don't get hit in the first place. It's going to happen. I get hit all the time. But my point is, play as if one shot is the end of your life. 
It's not about the armor with this tank. This thing is so mobile and it has like a sniper rifle. You know, it's fantastic out. flanking tank. Lots of fun. All right, so this one, I think uh, I'm going to go along this line here. And again, the idea is to hold back until targets are lit. Once they are lit, then you start planning your route. You look at your mini-map and you think, how can I flank? How can I flank these units? We will try to support these KV units. Once they roll in, they'll be our uh, spotters. And we'll move up just a little closer here. Get, us, get into some uh, camouflage. All right, so units on the way. There's going to be a peekaboo battle up there, most likely. Uh, we do control the hill, which is a nice perk. Well, not 100% necessary. It's uh, nice to have once in a while. All right, see if we can pop a couple of easy shots here. Usually don't want to do head-on battles with this tank, but they have a tank destroyer on the line over there. I don't think anybody's going to want to pop over this hill, so we'll wait till they get weathered down a little bit. All right, he's done. So I'm going to follow this KV-1 in. We can deal with the Yakpanza. Go, Johnny, go! Oh, hey. Come around. Didn't expect him to be looking right at me. This game is in our favor, though. Uh, I want to watch out for those flanking shots. I wonder what they're looking at. Alright, they're moving in. Perhaps we'll come about here. Which direction is he looking at? Oh, snap! That trackage. Why are you not on fire? Oh, I just wasted the shot for nothing. Keep moving. Careful, though. Oh, KV-1. Oh, he's not looking at me. That KV... It's all about this rate of fire on this beast. Nice accurate weapon. And... Oh, why you gotta be damaging me? That's such a nice juicy target to see something like this. And someone's gonna beat me to that one. Alright. T14, M4, it's a jumbo. Uh, now everybody's firing at that thing too. I'm trying to get a couple of raw shots in there. Oh, where'd that go into the dirt? Come on. Oh, fail. Too many dirt shots for me today. <laughs> Doesn't matter, though. It's still a win. Okay, that is that. So, a couple of uh, fairly mediocre rounds. I think this tank is earning more money uh, because they've made it tank of the month or something. I'm not sure. Perhaps, but that's uh, clearly a lot for that unit. So, that's what I'm going to guess. But anyways, 
Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you've enjoyed today's dose of World of Tanks. I wish you all a happy new year, and I will definitely see you on the next one.